from Charlie Barnett finding out he was no longer needed. I wanted you all to know that these three years, they have been the best time of my life. To Sophia Bush leaving because of a hostile work environment. Here are the stories of Chicago stars who left the franchise. I'll start with the most recent departure. It's none other than Jesse Spencer, aka Lieutenant Matthew Casey. Fans were left reeling when he made his exit from the show in 2022. Hey, you don't get to leave without saying one last goodbye. But let's not get too teary-eyed here. Jesse himself said that it was time to say goodbye after eight long years. He must have really been feeling the heat because he called up showrunner Derek Haas to let him know that he was ready to pack his bags and move on. And after that, it was adios amigos for Jesse. But he hasn't been sitting around twiddling his thumbs. Oh no, he's been a busy bee, moving from one project to another. He made a triumphant return to his roots by popping up on the final ever episode of the Aussie Soap neighbors, where he first made a name for himself. And if that wasn't enough to keep him busy, he's also set to appear in Disney Plus's upcoming Australian comedy drama, Last Days of the Space Age. Then there's the story behind Sophia Bush's departure from the show. It looks like the Windy City wasn't quite as hospitable to Sophia Bush as you might have thought. The actress, who played Detective Aaron Lindsay on Chicago PD for four seasons, made a hasty exit from the show after her character took a job with the FBI in New York City. But as they say, there's always more to the story than meets the eye. And in Sophia's case, there's a whole lot more. In a revealing interview with Dax Shepard on his Armchair Expert podcast, she spilled the beans on the real reason behind her departure. What I wasn't quite prepared for was the ways that we were going to kind of big sister our younger selves. Apparently, Sophia was the victim of some pretty intense behind-the-scenes drama, with a consistent onslaught barrage of abusive behavior coming from the show's higher-ups. Yikes! Talk about a hostile work environment. You can imagine that it was pretty bad if Sophia felt like she had to leave a steady job in one of TV's most popular franchises. It's a shame, really, because she was a standout on the show and had a huge following among fans. But don't worry, Sophia fans, she hasn't let this setback slow her down. You can can catch her on Hulu's hit series, Love, Victor, where she plays the cool and quirky English teacher, Veronica. And if that's not enough Sophia for you, she's also set to star in the new medical drama, Good Sam. You need to tell the wife you did a different procedure. Go. Okay, I'll tell her for you. Tell her I said you're welcome. There's something else. I've made a decision about my future. With Sophia Bush leaving, Chicago PD may have lost one of its biggest stars, but that's not the only star they lost in season four. The same season they lost Rachel DePillo as well. The halls of Gaffney Chicago Medical Center are a place of intense emotion, where doctors and nurses work tirelessly to save lives in the emergency room. And in the midst of all that chaos was medical student Sarah Reese, played by Rachel DePillo. Dr. Reese, welcome back. How you doing? Great, great. Very eager to dive back in. Fantastic. But Sarah wasn't content to stay in the ER forever. No, she had bigger ambitions. She wanted to go into pathology, then psychiatry. And she did just that until a personal tiff with Dr. Charles sent her packing for the Lone Star State. Now, I don't know what kind of drama went down between Rachel and the Chicago Med powers that be, but we do know that it was enough for her to walk away from her job. And you know what? I don't blame her. Who needs all that drama in their life, right? Since leaving the Chicago franchise in 2018, Rachel hasn't appeared in any movies or TV shows. But hey, maybe she's just taking some well-deserved time off to relax and recharge. Or maybe she's working on a secret passion project that you'll all hear about soon enough. Until then, you'll just have to get your fix of Rachel DePillo in reruns of her past TV appearances. Unfortunately, she's not the only one of our beloved characters to leave for good. Gabriella Dawson was a firefighter, a paramedic, and a force to be reckoned with on the hit show Chicago Fire. But after six seasons of playing the beloved character, Monica Raymond decided it was time to move on. Now, you might be thinking, why would anyone want to leave the adrenaline-fueled world of the Chicago Fire? Well, according to Monica, she was hungry to explore a different role. Plus, after five years in the Windy City, she was ready to put down roots in Los Angeles. But just like a true Chicagoan, Monica couldn't stay away for long. She made a brief return to the show for the season seven premiere, and one episode in series eight, giving fans a taste of what they had been missing. I can't describe to you the amount of aid they need down there. I mean, it's 
sounds like the bell's going off every single minute. Now Monica is making waves on the star's crime drama High Town, playing the complex and troubled Jackie Quinones. It's a far cry from the high stakes world of firefighting, but Monica is proving that she can tackle any role thrown her way. Who knows what Monica will do next? Enough about Monica. This next one's sure to leave you brokenhearted because Leslie Shea's exit from Chicago Fire was a real tearjerker. Who could forget that tragic scene where a collapsing pipe struck her down? It was a real punch in the gut for fans of the show. Switch on three with me, ready? One, two, three. Come on, Shay. Executive producer Matt Olmsted knew that if they were going to kill off a character, it had to be someone who would leave a big impact. And boy, did they succeed. Leslie's death was one of the most heart-wrenching moments in the show's history. Actress Laura German took it all in stride, though. She was a total pro about leaving the show. Luckily for Lauren, she didn't have to stay out in the cold for too long. She landed a role in Lucifer, the fantasy crime drama that had viewers hooked from 2016 all the way until 2021. Talk about a heavenly gig. But that wasn't the only tough goodbye for fans. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to break out the tissues and have a moment of silence for Dr. Connor Rhodes, the heartthrob of Chicago Met. Colin Donnell, the actor who played him, left the show due to creative reasons, leaving fans devastated and feeling like they had just lost a patient on the operating table. Sources say that Colin didn't decide to leave on his own. It sounds like the writers at Chicago Med took a page from their own playbook and gave him a surprise exit. But but let's not dwell on the past. Colin has moved on and is now taking lead roles in the world of Hallmark movies, like To Catch a Spy and Love on Iceland. Who needs a hospital when you can have a cozy fireplace and a mug of hot cocoa? It's not all sappy romance for Colin though. He's also returned to his roots in the theater, where he can be seen treading the boards and emoting like a true thespian with his chiseled jaw and rugged good looks. I have no doubt that he'll continue to make hearts flutter wherever he goes. Enough about fluttering hearts. It's time to talk about hearts breaking, especially when Charlie Barnett left the show for good. He played the beloved character of Peter Mills on Chicago Fire. Charlie received news of his exit from the show on what he thought was a normal day of filming. The actor was just as shocked as the fans, but he didn't let that disappointment get in the way of his success. After his abrupt exit from the show, Barnett went on to light up the small screen with his undeniable talent. He appeared in the hit series Orange is the New Black before moving on to Netflix's Russian Doll and You. It seems that being let go from the show gave him the opportunity to showcase his range as an actor. Okay, time for the curtains to fall because that's all about the Chicago stars who left the franchise. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.